Welcome back to the second part of our list for beloved TV shows with terrible endings. As mentioned in the first part of our list, there are spoilers ahead, so be careful if you don't want us to ruin your favorite series, but to be honest, with these endings, we are not really ruining anything. Sadly, many times a series ending leaves viewers feeling empty, angered, or cheated out of a proper goodbye. Let's see if you feel the same way we do about the following series as we continue our list of hit TV shows with awful endings. To start off part 2 of our list, we have The Sopranos. After six seasons of sex, drama and violence, many expected The Sopranos to end with a bang, but the show, which ran on HBO from 1999 to 2007, actually ended with a fizzle. Viewers were left without answers and with a cheapened feeling every time they hear Journeys Don't Stop Believing, the tune that played in the background as the final events unfolded. In the final scene, it appeared as though mob boss Tony Soprano, the late James Gandolfini, was about to get whacked while he and his family were enjoying a peaceful meal at a diner. But then, the screen simply turned black. Viewers were not only disappointed, but many were kind of confused, as they reached for the remotes, thinking their TVs had gone kaput until they saw the credits slowly and discouragingly begin to roll. Following on our list is Star Trek Enterprise. Fans of Star Trek Enterprise were angry with the ultimate outcome of Enterprise. Set 10 years after the original series, the show ended as a recreation of events from a holodeck on the Enterprise from the Next Generation series, leaving many fans feeling cheated. Additionally, the death of Commander Trip Tucker angered fans because it was unnecessary. Actor Anthony Montgomery, who played Travis Mayweather, said in an interview, I feel there could have been a more effective way to wrap things up for our show, as well as the franchise as a whole. It just seemed to take a little bit away from what the Enterprise cast and crew worked so diligently to achieve over the past four years. It is kind of sad that the cast felt the same way about the ending as fans, but that is a true indicative that the show should have ended differently. Next on our list is Sex and the City. What made the finale of this popular HBO romantic comedy so bad was that it went against the very premise of the show. For six seasons, we were taken through the life of Carrie Bradshaw, a 30-something single woman living as a writer in New York City, and her friends Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda, also all single but dating. The largely female audience lauded the four women for their successes, independence and of course stunning outfits. And viewers seemed to want to see Carrie remain alone. Unfortunately, she ended up with her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Mr. Big, much to fans' disappointment. This wasn't supposed to be a love story with a happy ending kind of show. It cheapened what was supposed to be a powerful dramatic comedy about female empowerment turning it into a story about a woman pushing 40 who finally finds her knight in shining armor. To continue our list, we have That 70s Show. You know it is never a good sign when a lead of a show leaves and the series continues. That was the case on That 70s Show. Eric left for Africa. Kelso only appeared sporadically, and season 8 introduced Randy, a character who never managed to fully become a part of the group. Don't even get viewers started on the Jackie Fest romance or Hyde stripper wife. Season 8 ushered in the end of an era, both on the show and in it. According to the New York Times, but with both Ashton Kutcher and Topher Grace absent from the regular cast and the others looking a bit too mature to still be partying in dad's basement, the program experienced its own sort of energy crisis. Following on our list is the hit show Roseanne. How do you ruin a perfectly good sitcom about a middle class family? Make them win the lottery. That's what Roseanne did in its ninth and final season. With no more problems to face together and hard times to survive, the Connor clan lost its charm, making for a disappointing final run. And then viewers arrived at the finale, which reframed everything that had occurred. It turns out it was all a coping mechanism for Roseanne. It hadn't actually happened a dream sequence that felt so random for a show like Roseanne. As one critic put it, all in all, season 9 comes off a grade below the rest and is best reserved for the fans. To continue our list, we have the hit show, The Office. 
Unfortunately, a great finale can't make up for an entire season of boring stuff. Jim and Pam's adventures in marriage were humdrum at best. Michael Scott wasn't around anymore. Andy became an arrogant jerk. And by season 9, the Office fans knew and loved just wasn't the same. An ending which some fans love and some fans dislike. Me personally, as a fan of the show, all the other seasons make up for the lackluster final one. To close off our list, we have the hit show Two and a Half Men. This CBS show was arguably doomed from the moment Ashton Kutcher replaced Charlie Sheen. The storyline about Sheen's character, Charlie, suddenly passing on, and a random billionaire, Ashton Kutcher, happening upon the house and deciding to buy it and take pity on squatter Allen, John Cryer, was unbelievable on its own. Not to mention that the show lost the half part of the two and a half men when Angus T. Jones' Jake left as a regular cast member in the 10th season of the 12th season run. But the finale put the icing on the cake. It played with the idea that Charlie wasn't dead after all, but rather kept prisoner by his longtime stalker Rose. In the end, a person presumed to be Charlie but seen only from the back arrives at the door greeted by a piano that falls from the sky and kills him. The shot cuts to director Chuck Lorre who declares winning in a reference to Sheen's famous catchphrase which he often used after being removed from the show. It was more like a middle finger episode to Sheen than it was an attempt to offer closure for a show that had seen such a long and successful run. As everything else in life, our beloved TV shows must have an ending. As we have seen on our list, for one reason or another, being bad writing, rushed endings, trying to give fans a different and interesting ending but failing, not everything ends the way we would hope it to. In the end, I think the important part is the enjoyment that these shows gave us during their run. I say this because whenever I look back on the shows, I am met more with nostalgia than anger due to their endings. So let's just enjoy the course of things in life and hope that they end in the best way possible. And as always, we hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, subscribe now, hit the like button and tell us in the comments section which hit series you think had the worst ending of all time.